There's been so many shows and movies that I enjoy watching with my whole family. Like watching the beloved classic shows of the Three Stooges, Looney Tunes, and for movies that I really like were Cats Don't Dance, Marx Brothers, The Iron Giant, The Jungle Book, The Lion King, and many others to name a few, but for me, I was watching Blue's Clues, To Mr. Rogers Neighborhood, and the one show that I watched was Sesame Street. The show itself helped me a lot from learning ABCs and 123s. And of course, the original 1979 film of the Muppet Movie. So when I started to watch Sesame Street as, as a kid in the early 90s, honestly, they helped me a lot right now when it comes to like learning the shapes and sizes, counting the numbers, numbers and also so learning the alphabet. This, and it definitely helped me you know, a lot the, all the, 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 throughout my kid years. And when I started to watch the very first Muppet movie, the, and, the, and since this was like during the 90s, and so far we basically had like a video cassette tape of the, the movies that we had in the early 90s, or in this case, all throughout the entire 90s. Honestly, just watching that particular movie, the, of the Muppet movie, not only that it made a huge impact on my life, but but when it comes to like like the amazing puppetry work, that all throughout the entire movie was absolutely just mind blowing. From the incredible music to like the storytelling, to to how the characters move and how they they play and and start to meet so many people around them was was absolutely quite wonderful and absolutely phenomenal. And I wanted to figure out who literally made this, this but also create these wonderful characters. And during the end credits, this, when I saw the name of like Jim Henson, I was just like, Jim Henson? Who the heck is Jim Henson? This, who is this guy? Did he create all this? this? Did he make this movie? I need to know. So after watching that particular movie, I I basically told my parents that I wanted to see about going over to the library and just find a book and try to do some research on that particular person of Jim Henson. And when I found the one book that literally caught my attention, and I basically grabbed that book and basically they told the library, and that I would like to um, the, the, take it home with me. And I, I basically bought the book. The, and I basically went back home. And sure enough, when I started to um, read that particular book here and there, um, I, was, I was completely just mind blown. Because not only that he was a, not only that he was like a puppeteer when he, he made the movie of the Muppet movie, but um, he also worked on so many other projects. Uh, it was super earlier, yeah, and started to work on uh, so many different movies during the time, uh, like with Sam and Friends to Sesame Street, The Muppet Show, Fraggle Rock, to the animated series of The Muppet Babies, uh, and now with the whole The Great Muppet Caper to Muppets Take Manhattan, then to to basically the non uh, uh, Muppet uh, films to like 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 with the Dark Crystal to like Labyrinth and finally like the Sesame Street presents then it's Fall of That Bird and I was like he literally made all this I like what the heck and I also read that that he literally didn't do this alone always that could have been uh, such a big struggle go and put like a lot of stress this on him but then at least he had such wonderful help coming from his friends and families and co-workers girls and staff who basically not only to like build puppets but also perform these puppets which to be honest even I did not know no so it was it was such a wonderful experience to basically just trying to learn all this this stuff and when I got to a part of where Jim basically passed away in 1990 I was I was just words cannot describe of the of what literally just happened and 
when I read uh, about him passing away on May 16th, in the year of 1990, and and this was like literally just three years after I was, was born, and I I did not know that Jim literally just passed away. And to be honest, it would have been nice if I could basically want to at least just meet him for the first time in person, just so I can at least just tell him how truly I'm grateful that he such made such wonderful characters. But I. Definitely wanted to at least just tell him or maybe ask a few questions to him on any kind of advice is on you know, when it comes to like learning how to work with puppets or people who want to become puppeteers the tears as a career job. I just wish I could have met him in, in person. But the one thing I did learn was that he wrote a letter to his friends, families, and co-workers and to the fans who, who definitely he had this beautiful but very inspirational quote who is for 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 everyone and I definitely feel like like these particular quotes in general that I read and basically just, just like keep on listening to what Jim basically said to his entire family to his friends his, and to the fan who grew up with Jim's creation was so inspiring and, and it, it was just incredible. So I honestly could not at least just be be like be so happy to to learn from Jim's experience on when it came to like performing and building puppets, but also learn some of these famous quotes. That's here and there. And from the movies and the shows that he made over the years and with the help from his friends and family and some of his, his staff and co workers, it's been a wonderful and absolutely a, a terrific learning experience. So now I'm hanging off to school, working hard, and making a good career of becoming a puppeteer for the Muppets for Jim Henson, to his friends, family, and to the fans who grew up watching the amazing and magically work of Jim Henson.